We are going to go ahead and review Zone Alarm Free Antivirus Plus Firewall, and we will take a look at some of their other products as well. Now, this is one of my favorite firewalls to use because it's simple, very easy to use, user friendly. And what's nice about this one is that it comes with a free antivirus also, so it's a bundle of an antivirus and a firewall, which is very good to have. All right, so this is what it looks like once you download it. Here's the, uh, the actual. Uh, Zone Alarm website, and the one we downloaded is the one on the very left here. Zone Alarm Free Antivirus Plus Firewall. I will post a link on the description of the video for this website so you can download it also and try it out. Now let's take a look at some of their other products here. They have the the firewall just on its own. They have a file and folder lock program, Extreme Security, which is one of their best products that they have, and a lot more on here. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the free one here. Now taking a look at it, <clears throat> there's three tabs up here, antivirus, firewall, and identity and data. All right, under the antivirus tab here, um, real-time protection should be green, should be enabled. It'll tell you what your last antivirus scan was, and you can go ahead and click on the scan now button, and you can select quick scan, full scan, or full scan with archive folders. That's basically folders that have been um, archived, zipped, that are zipped. You know, folders that are harder to get to. That's basically what that scan is for. All right, and I recommend you do that one because it scans everything. All right, and down here, really easy. There's an update now button. I recommend you update this program once a week. So just click on that button, and it'll update for you. And what's really nice about this program is that there's a scheduler on here. You click on the scheduler, you can actually schedule a quick scan full s and a full scan. Not a lot of antivirus programs have both options, which is uh, something that's positive about this one. Let's go ahead and set it for weekly for a quick scan and a full scan every three months. That's perfect. Click OK, or you can go ahead and set it the way you want. Now under settings here, you can go ahead and uh, um, there's an option here that I haven't seen in any other antivirus program. That it is skip if the object is greater than. You can actually skip an object. Let's say you have a movie on your computer that's uh, 3 gigs, which in that case would be 3,000 megabytes. You can actually s have it skip the movie. That way, you know, the scan is uh, faster. If you know the movie, you know, is not malicious. And there's a lot more uh, advanced uh, settings you can mess with here. You can also put... Uh, on access scanning so when you download something off the internet or you're about to uh, open something it'll scan it real quick and make sure it doesn't have a virus now this is a very very useful feature and that's the beauty of having an antivirus mixed with a firewall together that's what it does so when you're whenever you're going to open something it'll right away scan it before it opens it to make sure it's not a virus you can also add exceptions on here if you want to add a certain um, let's say you have a key generator which a lot of people <laughs> probably have one of those a lot of antivirus programs see key generators as a virus so if you put it as an exception here it won't see it as a virus you can view quarantine files I recommend you don't keep quarantine viruses always erase them completely you can look at uh, behavioral scans here so you can uh, monitor what type of viruses you get the most stuff like that you can also do a web scan all right let's take a look at the firewall now it has the free version has the basic firewall here and right now well I just installed the program so of course it's gonna say zero attempts but here you can click on view zones it'll tell you you know you, what you need to know about your network IP addresses and stuff and if you go to advanced what's really cool here is you can lock the host file and that's very very important that you do that um, I'm not gonna get much into detail about it but the host file is where um, a lot of malicious viruses like to inject pop-ups. So if you see a lot of pop-ups coming up when you're on the internet, it's probably your host file that's messed up. So if you lock it this way, check the lock host file and click OK, and you should be protected against that, which is really, really cool about this program. You can also go into settings here on the firewall. Right now I have it set for high in public zone. Your trusted zone, which is your network, you can set it however you want. You can set it high. But it's, it's set for medium because it's your home network and you pretty much trust it. 
All right, that's pretty much it for the firewall. Now there is there is also other features on this program, identity and data. Uh, there's a privacy toolbar which I did not install because it slows down your internet. It's up to you if you guys want it, but it'll uh, it has some features to provide privacy while you're web browsing. And you can also uh, set up identity protection and online backup. The online backup, uh, you'll have to install it. Um, click on settings. Actually, it's already installed on here. But it'll ask you here if you want to inst uh, install it. Now, you have to make an account with Zone Alarm to be able to use these features. So not until you actually buy the program, you'll be able to use these. You can't really use them in the free trial. You could try to make an account with them. I just don't know if uh, they'll let you use all that just with the free trial. Well, the free antivirus is what I'm saying here. You might have to. Um, you can go ahead and try that. You can try and uh, make an account with them and let us know if it works for you. All right. That's pretty much it for the Zone Alarm uh, free antivirus plus firewall. But like I said, very simple, very easy. Didn't take much to explain to you guys how to use it. Very user friendly. If you have any more questions, go ahead and uh, uh, ask away in the comment section of the video. Like I said, the link for the download is on the description of the video also. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more uh, reviews coming out. And um, if you subscribe, I'll subscribe back to your channel. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.